Hello everyone and welcome to today's guided meditation. In today's meditation, I am going to be giving you the spiritual space to face and overcome any fears or negative emotions that have been holding you back in any way. A lot of times we can have the misconception that if we pay attention to these fears or these intrusive thoughts that we will give power to them. But in most cases, we create a power struggle by continuously trying to suppress and repress and push away these thoughts and fears that are in our highest good. And instead, the true way to reclaim your powers from these fears is to face them head on, to overcome your fear And instead of having a fearful response to these energies, having an energy of fearlessness, of courage, of bravery, of love, and of trust. And that is when you can truly stand in your power and face any darkness without fear. But facing those fears alone, especially if it's something that's new to you, can be very scary. And my intention for today's meditation is to create an energetic space where you feel safe and comfortable to do so, to face your darkest parts. Of course, you will have me here along for the journey, as well as your spirit team that I will call in soon to join you for this process. We all have fears that accumulate from our other lifetimes and the traumas that we went through in those lifetimes, the traumas that we have been through in this lifetime, the traumas and the fears that were passed down our ancestral line, global and societal fears. And funnily enough, we normally have fears pop up around our life purpose and the things we're here to do. Like a fear of public speaking can signify that public speaking is what you're here to do and part of your life purpose. Things that are outside of our comfort zone can bring us fear. And so my intention for today's meditation is for us to reclaim our power from these fears so that we can live a whole and complete life. So that rather than living a life that's full of barriers and limitations and walls between us and others, or walls between us and our dreams, that rather than staying in our comfort zone, if it means staying small, playing small, not having our highest hopes and dreams fulfilled, not chasing those passions of ours, That instead of playing it small and living a life of limitation, my hope and dream for you is to live your most expansive life. To not be afraid to expand your consciousness into every corner of this universe and the next. To not be afraid to dream bigger, to try new things, to go new places, to meet every aspect of yourself with love and compassion and joy. My hope for you and intention through this meditation is that anywhere where fear holds you back in your life, that we may transmute that with the energy of fire and instead that you will find fearlessness, bravery and courage so that you can go into the unknown with love and compassion in your heart. So when you're ready, get into a comfortable position, close your eyes, and let's start by taking a few deep breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. On every inhale, feeling your belly rise, your lungs inflate, with fresh air and on every exhale sighing through the mouth relaxing and releasing the day ahead of you or the day behind you with every inhale and exhale you are falling deeper and deeper into your body 
into the cushion beneath your body, falling deeper and deeper into the present moment. and the cyclical nature of your breathing resembles the cycles of all things in creation, the yin and the yang, the summer and the winter, the life and the death, the sun and the moon, day and night, that all is necessary. That one is not superior to the other. The inhale, the exhale, the good days, the bad days, they are all necessary. They together create wholeness. They together comprise unity. And rather than holding on for one and pushing away the other, we welcome every inhale and we welcome every exhale. we come into an energy of letting go. The same way you do not hold on to your breaths for fear there won't be another. And instead, every next inhale and every next exhale comes along naturally. All a part of the cycle that is life. Relaxing your body and your mind, allowing yourself to truly be here. And now begin to surround yourself with a sphere of white, golden light. One surrounding your body and one surrounding your home or the space you're in so that both you and your space are safe and protected that you can feel comforted as you face your fears and walk in your shadows to know that you are physically safe here there is no threat that is real no matter how real it may feel when you face it, remind yourself that you are physically safe, that nothing can harm you here, and begin to relax deeper and deeper into the cushion beneath you. And now, if you are comfortable to do so, I ask you to call upon your spirit team, whoever it is that you feel comfortable to call upon. May that be benevolent ancestors, spirit guides, deities, angels and archangels, your personal guardian angel. Call upon whatever energy you feel safest with. Ask them for their support in this meditation. Ask them for their protection over you and your space. 
ask them to contribute any healing or purification or cleansing that they can provide to you through this process. And thank them for being here with you, for meeting you with unconditional love, for supporting your highest and best good and supporting your healing process. Feeling their light and their presence with you. And now I want you to bring to your attention something you're afraid of that has power over you at this time. Something that you could have been running from or avoiding recently. A pattern that's been popping up in your life recently and you're ready to let go of. Just metaphorically dipping your toes into the ocean of discomfort. You are safe and you do not manifest these fears by giving them space. They are a part of you who also wants to be loved and nurtured just like any other part of you. No part of you wishes to be condemned or isolated or cast away, and your fears are no different. All they want is to be met with love, to be reassured and told that everything is okay. And when facing this first fear of yours, what is it? that causes you to feel disempowered, powerless over yourself, your life, your situations? What is it that scares you and why? sensing it out in your energetic field where does this fear originate in this lifetime another lifetime an ancestral lifetime where is this fear coming from And seeing this fear embodied as another version of yourself. Love and nurture it as you would anyone else that you love. Tell them exactly what they need to hear to overcome this fear.
sometimes to overcome a fear, we have to know that even if it did happen, that it would not be as bad as we fear it to be, that there would be a way through, a light on the other side of the tunnel, that everything would be okay, even if the worst came to play. Because you and all beings you love are eternal souls. Capable of love and redemption and purity and of returning to source energy. Sometimes to clear a fear, you need to acknowledge that it happened to you or an ancestor in another lifetime, but it will not happen to you in this lifetime. That that energy will no longer play out in your life or the lives of your descendants. Sometimes to clear a fear, you just need to take on an energy of bravery and of strength, the warrior's mindset, that you can rise above any obstacle, that you are capable of seeing something through, that you have the strength and the sovereignty to rise above something, to get past something, to heal something. That you have the power to overcome limitations, self-doubt, lack of self-worth, anything that could be holding you back or making you feel powerless. And so we call in the violet flame, an energy of amazing transmutation that has the capacity to burn away all that no longer serves your highest good and instead transmute it, alchemize it into your highest good, to alchemize fear into bravery to alchemize doubt into trust and faith, to alchemize lack into abundance. And so we call upon this violet flame to transmute us, to sweep over our body and our energetic field, to sweep over this fear that we have called into our attention. And with love, we let it go. Feeling your load lighten. Feeling any grips of fear or discomfort being alleviated and releasing. Releasing into light. For now, this energy has been freed from its cycle and is free to live a new energetic life of its own. You have done the honor of carrying lower vibrational energies and transmuting them, raising the planet and humanity into a higher frequency and shifting us all towards a more positive timeline. And just taking a moment to sit here in this violet flame a little bit longer before we move on. Just clearing out any last bits and pieces 
and feeling the comfort that this violet flame energy brings to us and our lives. And when you are ready, calling on your bravery and your courage, I want you to turn your attention to the next thing you can think of that brings you discomfort, fear, or uncertainty in your life. And I want you to look at how that energy is playing out in your life. What patterns does this fear manifest as in your life? What limitations does it create that you are yearning to break free from? And what would your life look like if you were able to transmute this fear into fearlessness? How would that radically transform your life, your spiritual gifts, your purpose for the best? And now facing this aspect of yourself embodied by this fear, tell this part of yourself whatever you need to hear. Give them any comfort that they need to feel safe and comfortable just existing in this lifetime. And once again, we call in the energy of the violet flame to sweep through our body and our energetic field and our space, to sweep through this fear and allow it to be transmuted and alchemized into light, into love, into fearlessness and bravery. into joy, transmuting anxiety into excitement. Raising your vibration as you purge, release, and let go. just feeling any shreds of this fear being burned away 
being lifted up and out of you. Any roots of this fear now removed and released. And that love and healing and bravery can fill these spaces in you. And feeling the final pieces releasing and alchemizing into your highest good now. And with your intention, the violet flame grows larger. Spreading to surround you, to completely hold you, and to completely hold the space you are in. To hold and to alchemize your entire energetic field. And I want you to toss anything that is left over at this time, anything that has been bothering you, anything that is coming up, any patterns that you would like to transmute. Throw it all into the fire now. Let it be burned and swept away by the violet flame. Let your pain, your suffering, your anguish be alchemized into your success, into your joy, into your love, into your success, into your compassionate connection with others and the whole world. I know this can be difficult, so just staying with it, staying with this process. Releasing all resistance, letting go of anything that we are holding on to that does not serve our highest good, but that we are afraid to live without. Surrendering it now to the flame. And knowing all of that time and energy will not be wasted, but rather alchemized into your highest good, into the creation of your highest timeline, into the protection of you and your loved ones, into the unfolding of all of your wildest hopes and dreams. Releasing, relaxing, letting go, and letting it just flow through you, surrendering to the process. And the violet flame begins to simmer down, to relax, and bringing your attention back to yourself, 
Bring your attention to your own inner flame, your soul, your spark that ignites you, that is the source for all of your creativity, the inspiration for all of your hopes and dreams, the love that connects you to all other beings. your own inner flame that gives you the power, the sovereignty, the bravery, the courage, that knowing you are eternal, that you can overcome anything that you face, that in this lifetime you are destined to rise above, You are destined to rise above every obstacle, to see that every limitation is an illusion, that every situation where you feel powerless is also an illusion, reclaiming your power, your divine right to create your highest good so long as it serves the highest good of all. As long as it harms no one else, then so mote it be, and so it is. You are not doing anyone harm by following and living your dreams. And if this meditation found you, then feel comforted in the absolute knowing that this is your lifetime to step into your power, to chase your dreams, to not feel ashamed for doing so, to not feel unsafe for doing so. that you can be happy and it can last. That you can be surrounded by love and abundance and success and that it can last. That you are capable of crafting such stability in your life and that you are worthy and deserving of it. that you do not have to sacrifice one happiness in order to gain another. There is enough room for all of it to exist. and sitting in the power of your own inner flame. You are the phoenix that rises from the ashes, that you have burned away and transmuted all of your limitations, that there are no cords that can hold you back or hold you down. And so you spread your wings now, broad and powerful, that can carry you to any place you wish to go to. And you begin to ascend, to soar, to fly out of the ashes, as the phoenix, as your highest self incarnate. And as you soar higher and higher and higher, you can see the bigger picture. What you couldn't 
see before is revealed to you now. That it all serves a purpose. Every inhale, every exhale, every day, every night, every smile and every tear. Everything has served your highest good. You have always been protected. You have always been loved. And that energy will remain with you, always, 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 always. And with this power, you find the courage to fly forwards in your life now. that every moment will carry this potency of your soul, of your power, of your sovereignty, of your bravery and courage. And there is nothing you cannot overcome. And that with love, you can meet any shadow and feel no fear. that your warrior spirit is awakened and nothing can stop you from living your happiest, most courageous, expansive and fulfilling life. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. And just grounding that energy back into your body, back into the present moment, back into your life. And you can put your hands on your heart if you feel called to. Just anchoring in this power, this sovereignty, this light. Bring a smile to your face if it feels natural. Thank yourself and your spirit team for this process, for this healing. Thank yourself for being brave enough to transmute your shadows. Thanking your spirit guides for always being with you, for always helping and assisting whenever you call on them. Giving thanks to the universe that we all call home. Thank you so much for doing this meditation with me today. I hope that it brings you leaps and bounds of happiness and joy in your life. Namaste.